Um, hello, uh, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Steve, and um, um, it's been a, it's been a while that I haven't recorded anything on my channel. Um, and today I wanted to talk about SpaceX and NASA and the different missions that they have for 2024 and 2025. Um, okay. Um, there's a mission by the name of um, Armacy's Artemis Artemis program R A R T E M I S NASA's Artemis program. Um, this program will, will return humans to to the moon. You know, the last landing of the moon I think was um, in the 60s. I think it was 19. 69, something like that, but it was, I know it was in the 60s, the last time that uh, the astronaut Al Armstrong went to the moon was in 19, in the 60s, and they're planning to do that again with the, with NASA Artemis program, we will turn humans to the moon. The first crew flight of Artemis two is scheduled to launch in 2024. Um, there's another program that is done by Israel. It's called the Israel's Bereshit 2. is a privately funded mission to launch an orbiter or two small two small launches to the moon. 2025. That's Israel going to do another uh, their own launch, but that'll be in 2025. Um, another question is: Is NASA going to Mars? Um, yes, um, and I guess um, SpaceX will do will take over that issue because I I heard Elon Musk he was talking about going to Mars. In the future, you know, I'm, I, I do have, you know, um, the faith on him. He's a very intelligent man, and, you know, and NASA is developing capabilities needed to send humans to an asteroid, to an asteroid by 2025, and they might be going to Mars by 2030 by the 2030 could be 30 30 31 32 33 by the by 2030s will be planning to go to mars goals outlined in the bar by partition nasa authorization nasa authorization act of 2010 and in the u.s national space policy also issued in 2010 Um, NASA Arte Artemis program with the Artemis mission, NASA will land the first woman and the first person of color on the moon using innovative technologies to explore more of the lunar surface than ever before. We will collaborate with commercial and international partners and establish the first long-term presence on the moon. Then we will use what we learn and, and around the moon to take the next giant leap, sending the first astronaut to Mars. And after that, they will be planning to send the first astronaut to Mars, which will be in the 2030s. We are going to the moon. We are going back to the moon for scientific discovery. They're going back to the moon because they want to develop more scientific discoveries, economic benefit, and inspiration for a new generation of explorers. The new generation of astronauts want to go back to the moon, you know, because now they have better technology so they can do it faster and will have better discoveries for the benefit of humanity. Um, the Artemis 
generation while maintaining American leadership in exploration, we will build a global alliance and explore deep space for the benefit of all of all humankind. Um, NASA will build our Artemis base cap program on the surface and the gateway of the lunar orbit. These elements will allow our robots, our you know, you know AI robots that they develop now, the ro robot because we're in the robot techno um, era, and astronauts to explore more and conduct more science than ever before. Um, this is the last um, um, speech and word of my video. I really hope you enjoy this video and this video is more about science and discoveries and being that I li love nature but I also like science and discoveries and the moon and the universe so I like to talk a little bit brief about this. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Have a great day.